Quinn. Quinn, you know you my guy, right? I'm always pulling for you. Tonight, when you step on the court, I step on the court too. And we in it. So in two days, that night, it's the North Carolina game at Duke and the Duke game that's at North Carolina. When we wake up on game day, there's a knot in my stomach. We've been up since 6 a.m. this morning watching recorded Duke Carolina games. I watched the Rivers shot <laughs> about 15 yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. Rivers on his own. Yes, at the buzzer. Doc Rivers, stay out of North Carolina. Well, yeah. <laughs> stay out Doc, of North come Carolina. Come down here, feet, son. Hit another game winner. The Blue Devils win, 85-84. Nothing better than North Carolina and Duke. It is the best rivalry in all of college basketball. It's amazing to watch. I've never seen anything like it. Hall of Fame coaches, great players, and usually so much at stake. And that's it. Carolina has won it. And the secular religion for this part of the country is college basketball. And whoever wins this game is gone for at least a week. Can you imagine what it would be like around here if people didn't have it? It would be terrifying. Um, One of the guys who played for Duke was this big white thug, Kenny Denard. So I met him three years ago, thinking this guy who I saw is the evil incarnate. He's like a giant sheepdog. He's like, <laughs> like, like, like what was, how did he beat us? Uh, and he is, he's just a, he's a terrific guy. I love this game because, A, I played at Duke. I won my senior game. It was unbelievable. I don't hate Carolina. I just kind of despise them. Hate's a very powerful word, and I'm not a hater. Because he really seems to have, you know, come to a peace with it. I still have not. I still have, like, Israel and Palestine. I mean, I have no peace with this. Yeah. Hi, my name is Doc Rivers. It's 25 minutes of game time. How much of game time? Oh, 23 minutes. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Dick Vitale, ESPN. It is 20 minutes to tip off time. Kenny Denard, Duke 81. It's 20 minutes to game time. One of the Vitalis, I would simply say, it's awesome, baby, with a top of the line. I don't care where you at, where you sitting at, if Carolina and Duke playing, you trying to find a TV. I'm gonna watch it right in front of my TV set in my house with no distraction. Tim Rando here to do the play-by-play -play for the ACC Network and Raycom, syndicated to over-the-air station. I'm Dan Schulman with ESPN. I'm doing play-by-play -play for the Carolina Duke game tonight. I can tell you this is the only game where you have two separate broadcast entities, two separate trucks and crews. I think nine straight years has been the highest rated uh, college basketball game on TV, so it is the big game. It's the biggest stage there is. Duke North Carolina game, you know, it doesn't matter the records of the two teams. When those two teams play, you just never know who's going to win the game. As a broadcaster, it's a totally different deal. I'm not invested in the winner as a broadcaster. When I was playing, I wanted to win. And I wanted to win this game because North Carolina was so good that it says something really good about us. Game. It means a year's worth of bragging rights. Even if we lose, it's great to go to work and, you know, take the junk that everybody else is talking. After the game, everybody wanted to talk. Everybody wanted to talk after the game. When the game, when, when the game is over and Carolina's on top, I want to hear the same amount of noise in here next week. I want to see all y'all faces in here next week. It's more fun for the fans than the players because we do this, you know, no matter what's going on, the economy's bad, you know, at least once, well, twice a year, sometimes maybe three times a year, they meet. Everybody just forget about, have fun, talk trash, and, you know, just go back to the normal life.
who gets the win? Before a Duke Carolina game, go on the ESPN Classic, and you get to relive all those moments again. You know, the Gene Banks shot. It was Kay's first year at Duke. Before the horn. Look at where Gene Banks is. He's right down around the basket area. Bernard May just going to be trying to loop this thing up to Banks. There it is. Banks gets off the shot. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, they said the two points count. The basket is good. We'll go to overtime. Unbelievable. Fantastic shot by Banks. Ties the score at 58. Banks broke perfectly for the pass. Give Kenny Denard credit for being able to hit the open man. Some kind of play. to this crowd. Never would have believed it. That was a very calm coach and Coach Dushevsky who called the one time out right before this with two seconds to go. One more time. It was be Denard. Watch the clock, Bill. There's Banks. He had it away, didn't he? Yep. Oh, right down the hall. And then Duke ends up winning the game in overtime by one. Greatest winning experience of my life. It was Gene Banks and Kenny Denard at their last game. When you're trying to establish yourself as a coach, a win like that goes a long way. My name is Justin Hughes. I'm the general manager of Tyler's Restaurant and Tap Room here in Durham, North Carolina, and it is game time. The standard of college basketball has been set at a higher level as a result of the performances of these coaches and players over the years in the Duke North Carolina rivalry. My name is Steve Woodham. We're good fellas from Chapel Hill, and it's game time. Oh, yeah. It's the greatest rivalry in all of college basketball. And it does give you as a coach, and I happen to think as a player also, a different feeling. There's nothing though, that beats the feeling that you have before you play Duke, North Carolina. UNC all day. Game just came on. It's the anticipation of the next great game. Because you've watched this TV show, this movie, it's produced all these thrills and all these moments. When's the next one going to be put? I'm rocking Duke University, baby. Blue Devils. I can't get any better than this. And if I keep hollering like this, I won't be able to cheer tonight. But it's just before tip ball. It's on right now. It's game time. It's one of the most exciting events you can be a part of. And I still say it's not the biggest rivalry in college basketball. It's the biggest rivalry in all of sport, bar none. Man.